Today we will be solving round 958C increasing sequence with fixed OR where you are given a positive integer n and you have to generate the longest sequence possible of positive integers such that the array is strictly increasing and all consecutive elements or up equal to n okay if you look at the last test case over here and see each of the consecutive elements all of these elements bitwise or is equal to 23 okay so the question is quite simple you are given an integer n you need to create a longest increasing sequence such that bitwise or of consecutive elements is equal to n okay so so first thing first whenever you get such a question we divide the number into bits just to make it easier okay that's 16 8 4 2 1 now this will be the maximum element of the sequence and now let's try building this sequence in reverse okay so we need to find an element that is just smaller than this number okay and the or of both of them must be equal to 23 okay so let's try missing the first bit then the number turns out to be like this if i or these two i still get 23 and from all of the possible combinations that I have, this number is the one that is closest to 23. Why do I need that? Since I need a strictly increasing sequence which is as long as possible. And so when I am creating the sequence in reverse, I want to make the element smaller and smaller. And I want to make the element as smaller as possible. Okay. So, at the first operation, we remove this bit. Now, we need that bitwise or of these two also needs to be 23. So, I compulsorily have to restore this bit as 1. Now, if I want to decrease the value from this, which bit should I flip now? I might flip this bit. If I flip the second bit, this value turns out to be 21 and the bitwise or is still stored to 23. Okay, so now let's continue our sequence from this integer 10101. Okay, 10101. Now, since the next number we make, this both or must be 23. Hence, we will have to restore the bit which we flipped in the previous operation. And then we will reflip the next bit, which is this bit. So I'll make it zero. This number turns out to be 19. And the bitwise or is still 23. Okay. Now I want to create the next number such that the bitwise or is still 23. So I have to compulsorily restore the bit that I had flipped in the previous operation. And I should unflip one more bit. Let's choose this bit. So, this turns out to be 7. Now, if I reverse my sequence, if I reverse my sequence, then I get numbers like 7, 19, 21, 22, 23. Remember, multiple answers are possible. Now, if I calculate the bitwise OR of each of consecutive elements I will get 23 so how did I maintain 23 first of all since I am taking bitwise or and I have something like 23 I cannot fill the bit which is already 0 if I fill it the or will become more than 23 which we don't need so in the next number we need to somehow make it as close as possible to this number so how do we do that we will flip the first ever bit 
which is equal to 1 from the right and we leave the rest the same 1 0 1 1 0 now after we restore this bit then why do we compulsorily flip this bit and not this bit if I flip this bit I will get more lesser value and since we are looking at a strictly incurring sequence which is as long as possible you will want the numbers to be as close as possible so the chances of making a more longer and longer sequence increases okay so the logic for this is quite straightforward let's say you have some bits like this at the first operation let's say your index is over here let's say your index is over here okay then you will flip this bit to zero then the number becomes like this then you will restore this bit to one and flip the next bit so it becomes zero then you restore this as one and flip the next bit to zero when you continue to do this over and over again the sequence that you will get eventually turns out to be the longest sequence possible let's perform this same algorithm on the third test case where we have 14 14 is represented as 8 plus 4 plus 2 okay this is 14 now first i will flip this bit so it turns out to be this now i will flip this bit so it turns out to be this now i will flip this bit so it turns out to be this the numbers are 4 6 12 and 14 if you try to find the bitwise or of each of the consecutive elements you can see all of these three bits which need to be filled are filled and hence this algorithm is perfectly working currently i have a java code but i will submit a c++ code once the system testing is over and i will link it in the description for you guys to see okay so this means that i am converting the number into a into a binary number okay and i use character array in java because string is very costly okay then i am using a set to automatically sort the elements into ascending order and to manage duplicates easily okay now i will take this number and what is this inbuilt function doing is i am converting that number to decimal again okay so this converts the number back to decimal then i have a bit which will store my current index where is my one present then i will iterate back from there once i find a one i will flip it and make it zero and my operation ends over there then i will convert my newly made character array into a decimal number and then once that's done that is also an accepted number then i will have to restore that bit to one restoring that bit to one is important else you won't get your desired or number and then i reduce the value of bit and so i can continue from that index behind and behind and behind okay then i just remove the value of zero if it has come in my set because we need numbers from from one zero is not allowed okay so if if zero comes i i remove zero then i just print my set okay i will link the c plus plus submission in the description for you guys to see okay so thank you guys for watching make sure to like share and subscribe the video to never miss another tutorial